In my last video, I bought a new boat. And my wife was watching me and said, you're going to kill yourself rowing around that lake. I'm treating you to a new engine. Paul O'Donnell. Paul. Yeah. yeah. So, we're, what, so we what, have what, our new um, Suzuki 5 horsepower here. Um, four stroke engine. Five years warranty. Five year guarantee. Yeah. Wow. Lightest in this class, 23 and a half kilos in weight. Fantastic. And is it petrol or diesel? Straight petrol. Straight petrol. And I'm getting a great bargain, am I? <laughs> Listen, Paul, it's been a pleasure. Thank you Thanks very much. much for the great bargain. Very good. I see you, Paul. Good best. luck. Thanks. Now I have a new boat and a new engine. And I think it's time to get a new cooker for the beach. Wow, I'm spoiled for choice. I'll definitely get a good cooker out of this lot. This fella here, this fella looks, he looks perfect. I'll test this fella out. I think this is the one. It's exactly the right height to keep the wind away from the flame. I'll just test it now with my frying pan. It looks fantastic. I think this is the one. It looks perfect. I'm all excited with my new cooker. <laughs> Can't wait to get back down to the beach. My wife has come along today with me to celebrate the launch of Striking Catch. My wife is nervous. My wife is nervous in case I get stuck in the mud. So she wants me to check that the mud is okay. Even though I know it is okay, I have to get out and check. She's nervous. She is with me. She's holding the camera right now. She's like the shy man. Hang on, I'll check the mud. My wife has just seen Striking Catch for the first time and she thinks it's a lovely boat and she is with me, I promise you. But she's like the shy man. She says, I don't want to be in your video, Vincent, please. So you're only going to get glimpses of her. She's actually hideous looking. <laughs> she's awful looking. That's why she doesn't want to be in the video. <laughs> she's terrible. Anyway, this is bits of her. That's my wife. <laughs> All right, come on, we go back to the car. I must get on my waders and I must bail out the boat. Before I go up and bail the water in my boat, I have to show you this. This here is a present I got off one of my subscribers, a fella called Richie Hoyt. And he sent me this. He said, Vincent, he said, I saw you getting stuck in the mud. And he said, those days are over. So he sent me this thing, and it rolls out like a, like, a, like a kind of a plastic carpet, and the wheels go on it, and you drive, you drive through the snow and the mud, and it gets you out of a, out of a jam. So thanks very much, Richie Hoyt, <laughs> for the lovely present. Hopefully, I'll never have to use it, ever. But if I do, at least I know I have it. So thanks a million. Cheers.
This is no bed of roses, but it is a labor of love. I don't think there's any need to tie this on, but I'll feel happier with it on. Looking perfect. Purn like a kitten, like a kitten. Purn like a kitten. <laughs> no. We have to leave it warm up for 10 minutes like that. It's part of the cycle of starting a brand new engine. 10 minutes it needs like that. And then we can put her in gear on the lowest gear. And we have to drive around, I think, for 20 minutes. So we'll start getting the gear in the boat and we'll leave the engine warm up. My wife said that always when the boat is being launched, that procedure is you get a bottle of champagne and you smash it off the boat but I think it's sin to waste any alcohol so she says I've come up with a solution what's your solution love what are these gin gin what's alcohol and what's not alcohol what do I do with this it's a cocktail it's a cocktail, what do I do with it's it? It's mixed already. It's mixed already, what do I do with this? So you just hit it off the boat, hit it off strike and catch. Woohoo! Woohoo! And, the water, the water and we can drink those later in and the boat. And which one is my one? The non-alcoholic, you're the driver. <laughs> well, thanks very much, we'll have these in the boat, so. We'll have these in the boat for the chest. Thanks, love. This is not a fashion accessory for my wife. This is a life jacket, health and safety. I got a loan of Paul the gas man's life jacket for her. So she's safe now going out in the boat. Are we ready to go? Don't pull that one if you do. <laughs> All right, let's go. My wife's fishing bag for going on the boat. <laughs> I think she thinks she's getting on a yacht. <laughs> I let this fellow out for you. And I'll put one on the other side. We may catch a nice trout for your dinner, my love. My wife's got a fish. Woo! <laughs> oh, she has. Can I do it faster? Sir? No, keep reading. You're doing perfect. Keep reading, love. Faster or slower? That's perfect. Keep reading the way you're doing it. <laughs> keep them coming here. <laughs> Bring <him up. laughs> she caught a beautiful trout. Beautiful little fish. She has another fish. Second fish. Yay! Hey! <laughs> Three fish, a huge fish. <laughs> Another one. Keep him coming. There he is. Hey. <laughs> Your first one in the striking catch. I only caught one. My wife must have lady luck. <laughs> oh, my wire's gone in. Or my whatever it's Your called. wire. <laughs> your wire's fine. Don't worry about your wire. I look after your wire. Oh, no, it's, it's getting fine. Sorry. I'm a professional. <laughs> <laughs>
It's all caught around the it thing. It won't catch, just touch it. It is, I see it. Oh yeah. It's all caught around the thing, look. I thought you were a professional. Oh, that's what you mean. <laughs> I told you. My wife just reeled in, look. And we're both tangled together. <laughs> tangled together for 40 years. <laughs> That's unbelievable. No wonder we weren't catching a fish for a while. Anyway, we're on the beach and we get out and we'll have a little look around. You're tying up the boat. You're a great bit of stuff. Well done, you. <laughs> I have my cookie here. I think I'm slowly moving in. <laughs> I'm moving in. Ah, all we need now is a bit of sunshine. So, we have a little drink to celebrate, my love. I get I something here. I get you have what? I have stuff. Right, so my wife brought a beach towel. And I said, Santa said to France, love. And it's far to sit on. So, you, you have your little seat, love. And sit down and get comfortable. I think you're moving in as well. <laughs> I think she has something for us. As I said at the launch of the boat, waste not, want not. My wife and I is getting our little cocktails ready. And they're in a box. I've never seen anything like it. Shake, pinch, corner and tear and pour over ice. Have you got ice with you, love? <laughs> You have not, have you ice? Get away with that. Here you go. Cheers. Cheers, darling. Ah, talk about etiquette. God, it's beautiful. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. Seriously, it's gorgeous. <laughs> Taste it. It's unbelievable. It's like I'm in the south of France. <laughs> Cheers. <coughs> For the chest. Thanks very much, Steph. piece of music kiss from a rose. Well, I have to say I had a very enjoyable day out on the lake in striking catch with my wife. We had a good laugh and she caught a couple of trout. She caught more than she caught the last time she was on the lake of me nearly 40 years ago. <laughs> and we're still together like the two little rapalas. We're still together after all these years. So I must be doing something right. Now, she bought me a new engine and I'm delighted. I couldn't believe it. So she does love me. I know she has a big, big huge insurance policy on me. And if I die, I'm worth 10 times more dead than I like, but she does love me. <laughs> she loves me. 
Until my next video, what I'll be doing, I don't know. Hopefully, I'll be back down on the beach and I'll be using my new cooker. That's a lovely little spot. And the next time I'm down there, hopefully, I'll catch a big fish. <laughs> Until then, good luck! Good luck! Well, we didn't have champagne smashing the bottle for the maiden voyage of <laughs> Strike and Catch. Ah, oh, that was a great day. It wasn't serious fishing, it was just a bit of fun, and it was breaking in the new engine for Strike and Catch. And uh, we didn't have any champagne smashing bottles on the bottle, on the boat. That fucking that again. <laughs> well, I have to say, that was a great day I had with my wife on the maiden voyage of striking catch. Now, we didn't use champagne, but we did have some beautiful cocktails. <laughs> etiquette for the chest up on the beach. Until my next video, I hope you enjoyed this one. Good luck!